So here we are in the shop. It is a mess because we've just been throwing stuff in here whenever we're here. We're just throwing it in here. It is time for go-karts again. And so we need to get them running again. And, and, and we got this new toy here. It doesn't run whatsoever, so we need to make that run. Hopefully we can do that in this video. And also, um, we are gonna not do go-karting this year. Only for a little bit. We're gonna do normal camping. Okay. Okay, we're gonna do the same amount of go-karting this year. <laughs> Our plan is to fix these up today and pretty much just have a fun time outside of the house. Lila is getting ready to go rollerblading. Woo! I'm gonna need new rollerblades soon. And probably a new helmet. We're going to focus our attention on this and that. These two go karts out here didn't suffer any damage and both have brand new engines that don't need their carbs cleaned. Just an oil change, that is all. This one here has a bent thingy when it's straight it's not really straight when you turn it this way wait uh oh maybe maybe nothing's wrong oh yeah when you turn it this way this wheel rubs up against the frame and we don't want that so we got to bend that back hopefully not breaking that weld right there but first, we're going to clean the carbs. So first, to do that, I have to drain the gas. So that's what I'm gonna do. And Emily's gonna stand there and watch. Leela is rollerblading. So normally, on this one, to drain the gas, I just take the, the, the bowl of the carb off. This guy, right here. And then, well, bam, the gas is already drained. So normally what I would do to clean this carb is disconnect it, take it out, and drench it with carb cleaner. But its problem is the needle that's attached to the float there just sometimes gets stuck in there. So really all I'm going to do is leave it right where it is and blast some carb cleaner up in there. And that, that should take care of this carburetor problem here. All right, so now we're just going to blast this up in there and call it clean. Another reason I don't like to take it off is because the gaskets weren't in that great a condition. So uh, the more I take it on and off, the more I'm going to uh, destroy them. And if I can avoid it, I'm going to. It's not getting stuck anymore, so uh, now we'll put it back together and see if it runs, I guess. I didn't even get any before footage. It didn't really run too well a minute ago. <laughs> anyway, now to put some gas in this thing and try her out. Just a little bit of gas in case we have to take it back out. See what happens. So it, it needs to be cleaned a lot more, so now I gotta take it off. So I took the whole thing off of there. Here it is, in pieces. And I must have been insane because these gaskets look fine. Interesting. So now I took the whole thing off, cleaned every part on this that I can on the inside. So now I guess I'm going to put it back on 
and see if it works this time. And, fun fact, we might have tornadoes. That'll be fun. So, I'm, I'm, I'm going to uh, try to just finish this thing up so we can bring everything back in in anticipation for some severe weather. We'll see. So we raised the idle speed a little bit, cleaned the carb, and now... kind of uh, bogged down a little bit like that. Yeah, we're gonna say the engine on this is good to go, other than an oil change. And as you can tell, the rest of the family loves hanging out here at the shop and working on go-karts. Is that right, Leela? Yeah. Baby's a little offended by the noise. I cannot find a way to bend that thing back. So, if you have any ideas, let us know in the comments below. It's just off a little bit, but it's enough to uh, mess it up. It shouldn't rub there, and it doesn't turn as far in that direction. And the, they're, they're off. They're, that's turning more than that one. And I cannot adjust the tie rods any further. So yes, let us know. We got a cool new little grill. Or, not grill. Stove. I had to run home and get these things. They're actually fajita pan things. But they're going to work really well to heat up some hot dogs for lunch. Yum. And then we got this little slug over here. He's not very happy about life today. He does not appreciate the sound of the go-karts and or not just being held and snuggled. So he's a little melancholy. Poor little dude. Can you smile at all? Can you smile at all? No? I can safely say we are not getting to this thing today. This might end up being its own video, if it even becomes a video, but we'll show you it running when it's done, at least. This thing's about ready to go. The rest of them just need general tune-ups, and soon we'll be out on the go-kart trail. It's food time. Hot dogs? Yes. Dose? Yes. See. The storm is coming. The storm is coming. Yeah, unfortunately. That's all we were able to get done in the shop today. We'll, uh, we'll get around to that mini bike. I'm pretty sure it's going to need a new battery because every time I try to charge it, it goes into reconditioning mode. The guy that sold it to us said it hasn't been used for years, so it's got gas in it that's probably a gel now. I got it to run last year for like five minutes just to see if it would run and I could only start it while it was hooked up to the battery charger. Oh, and also, speaking of new things, look at this. I bought this off of somebody from Facebook today. Haha, <laughs> that's pretty cool. That'll hold a bunch of camping gear, it's fun. As you can see, it is raining. It is not as much as we had expected, but it's supposed to storm. It could get bad. We don't know, though. It might not get bad. What do you think, Leela? There's a possibility of a tornado watch warning. Is it a watch right now? Do we have a tornado watch? So, 
we'll see we'll see what that turns into but we'll we'll talk more when we go upstairs in the house when we go in the house so anyway that was was pretty much our day we got rained out it's raining now emily is making foods dinner Woo! we'll be doing some fishing videos and obviously go-karting is coming up soon there'll be a lot of go-karting videos and uh camping we bought a new tent mm -hmm. <laughs> it's a it's a big tent we'll be using that hopefully a lot this summer we'll see how it goes you know with the thing we're dealing with right now and we got a new bike and a trailer for Kevin so we'll be we'll be going on a lot of outdoor adventures this summer well continuing on with that hitting up all the state parks and if you have any ideas for adventures let us know in the comments give us your ideas yes we're open to ideas if you liked the video, please hit the like button. If you like all our videos, please hit the subscribe button. And also follow us on JFam Times on Twitter. Thanks for watching and have a Johnsonish day. Mom, what the heck? That was a cringy voice. <laughs> that was so cringy. So cringy.